right, so I'm gonna go over the options that uh, I ordered for this thing. I mean, there's literally like a hundred different options you can get. Uh, the Ultimate comes with this front brush guard standard, which I was happy with, I'm fine with that. It comes with the 4,500 pound winch. It's also got a, a remote control and a rocker switch on the dash, which I always make sure I get both. Because if your remote goes dead, then you're useless there. Um, I added these side view mirrors uh, and they are breakaway. Um, this will come in handy. I mean, we parked this down in our garage there. I might actually put it in Sharon's stall tonight, maybe. Wouldn't that be something when she comes home from work and this thing's <laughs> in her stall? Yeah, I'm not that brave. But anyways, uh, this comes in handy. You know, the reverse cam is nice to see if you're going to run over anything, but it's always nice to see the edge of your vehicle. So for the inside, I initially ordered the speaker bar that goes up here. It's kind of a long story, but it wasn't compatible with the, the uh, North Star built-in system because it's not enough amperage, <clears throat> I guess. So you, you would need a new amp to put that speaker bar up. Now, if I ordered it from the factory with that speaker bar, then it could have worked. Um, so what I did instead is I ordered two, backup, two speakers in the back um, that they just plug and play right into this, which for me, that should be plenty of music, plenty loud. Um, but there was a big to-do about this speaker bar because a lot of people have them, a lot of people put them in, but Polaris told us that, hey, it's just not the right amperage. You actually should have put a new amp on. Anyways, I'm just a messenger. I don't want to get into it. Um, everything else is standard. Uh, the rear lights, I had them add those. So I got a rocker switch for them rear lights. It's always nice being able to see, especially obviously in the dark. Uh, it has some... It has uh, two 12 volt cigarette lighter plugs, and it also has this um, battery tender port. I'm not really sure how this works. There must be a plug somewhere, you know, in here, I would think, or a cable. I'll have to do a little digging on that, but I guess you could plug something in here and it'll charge your battery like a trickle charger built in I've got the remote control nothing really special in the back um, special shout out to Greg Dietz uh, he helped me out with all these options he did a lot of homework on these so I got the rock sliders uh, since a it's just nice to have but B these doors are expensive He's got power windows on the front. So I got these on both sides and I'm really happy with the way they look because kind of the older ones, they stick out a ways, you know, kind of like a big flat shelf. So these are really tucked in, but they're gonna obviously do the job of a rock slider. Um, in the back, there's some two LED lights. This option I got right here, this is a bed extender. Plug and play in the back in their rack system. But this has actually multiple uses. Obviously now, you know, you, you lock it in there and this makes your bed uh, probably 16, 18 inches bigger here to haul more stuff back there. And then of course, uh, if you put it up here, you know, all the way up to the front, you know, you got a kind of a backstop here. I ordered the rear bumper. That was an upgrade. I thought better safe than sorry because um, I did get a dent in my muffler on my other one. Man, I think, I don't remember what else, what else I ordered. I think that was it. The, the, the rhino rack, I did order a rhino rack, a, a toolbox, and some rhino tie downs, but they were not compatible. I would have had to get this rhino rack, um, which covered this whole thing. And so those other three things, the Rhino things, were, uh, were not compatible. So we nixed the Rhino stuff. Uh, I did get a new, a new bed liner here. Um, to help protect the bed, make it easier to clean out. And it's, um, they said they've had good luck with these, with the Polaris uh, bed liner. 
and one option I forgot to show here is under the passenger or the the passenger side rear seat lifts up and there's a dry storage box under there that you know keeps your stuff dry and no dust or water or anything I did forget to mention that uh, also the ultimate like the regular North Star comes with a front cam and a backup cam as well which they do come in handy at times mostly the backup camera anyways these seats are supposed to be improved thicker and softer oh it's also the ultimate comes with the tip out windshield uh, your windshield wiper is uh, down here on the dashboard now that smells can you smell it from out there it smells beautiful it's new machine smell so unfortunately I'm not gonna take it for a spin yet I'm gonna put some of that SC1 uh, bike in a can or whatever clean bike in a can to protect it um, again Greg gave me the suggestion and I'm gonna tell you we live in red clay down here and when you get that red clay caked in whether it's the excavator or one of these or the skid steer it don't come off easy and that SC1 if you spray your whole underbody with it your tires your suspension and I'm gonna do the body also it's supposed to really make a barrier so that nasty clay and mud is a lot easier to get off so to me for the, it costs 90 bucks for like 10 or 12 cans for this investment I'm gonna try that so definitely stay tuned for a ride I mean, trust me I mean Phil and I are just like itching itching to take this thing for a spin but I want to do that and the hose is frozen otherwise it'd be easier to spray off but it's not so while it's clean under there I'm gonna put that SC1 on so definitely stay tuned pretty exciting stuff